All right, this is the speaker setup. Um, just testing out a smaller box. Uh, I have an iX8 with a, it's a dual four ohm. I have it set up for four ohms. Uh, here's the port down here. Um, I have the two front tweeters, which I stole from a home theater speakers. Uh, pretty sure that they are four ohms each also. Um, I have them in series on a 4.7 capacitor just to filter them. Uh, my next box I'm gonna be using this system for, I'm gonna be using a second order uh, high pass filter on those. Um, I have some Panasonic speakers that I stole from some bookshelf um, uh, speakers. Um, those are, I wanna say six ohm, so I get a little less um, volume out of those, but my amp that I have, which is a 7498 um, E dual amplifier is um, 2.1 and this is a frequency range that I can change the frequency. I push a little more to my mid-range speakers. I have one on each side. The tweeters have a front box that they're completely sealed and you can see when I push on this one, that one will move out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and the mid-range are a box separated from the front and they are ported in the top. Not the best system, uh, but I made it to sit in a corner so that everything gets projected forward. Um, I do not have the mid-range filtered yet. I figured that the frequency on this would help with that. Um, with the amplifier, I just have a computer fan to cool it and just a quick box that I threw together uh, to run it. Um, I'm running on the amp, I'm running 24 volts from a laptop charger. Um, I have separated the wires in the back, but this is all gonna be changed when I put it into a new box. Um, just wanna show you guys what it sounds like. And I'm gonna be playing bass, I love you. in my entire house and that's only a 200 watt amp now this is a 150 watt uh, RMS driver that can handle up to 300 watts 
and it is handling it very well. Not even getting warm. laboratories and to be honest this thing works great this thing is awesome it actually can handle more watts uh, and it sounds great it just does not have the thump that this scar the scar does now for the price this is probably better because this thing I bought for 15 bucks this I bought for 40 and the difference yeah, it's a lot, but I don't know if I could say it's about $20 worth more um, or $28 more, but uh, I would never go back to Soundstorm. I'm always going to buy these now.